Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, January 3rd, 2020. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him, use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord, and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of our praise, He is worthy of our worship, He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, and it's verse number 25. Scripture says, There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Friends, yesterday we talked about Psalm chapter 1, and we see the the two lives pictured there, the life of the ungodly and the life of the righteous. And I encourage you to go back and and read those verses in, in Psalm chapter 1. Because there's a lot of important things that we have to look at and we have to understand. And we talked on a lot of them yesterday, but I encourage you to check out yesterday's broadcast and then read Psalms chapter 1 for yourself. But one of the things that I had thought of and as I was preparing for today, for this broadcast, I started thinking about the people that, that think that they're living the righteous life but are actually living the ungodly. And this verse was coming to mind. In Proverbs chapter 16, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. I'm going to stop there. There's ways that seem right unto us. All of us have our strengths and weaknesses. All of us have our desires that we want to accomplish and the things that we want to do. And those things seem so right to us and we put so much trust and so much faith in them. But what happens when that's not what the will of God is for your life? Are we willing to abandon those things? That's the thing that we got to we gotta realize that just because something seems right to us doesn't at all mean that that is the way that God wants you to do things. The rest of that verse says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. What is the ways of death? It's the way directly to the pit of hell. And that's where, where things that seem right to you and me might not be right to God. I also directed to these verses in Matthew chapter, chapter seven, Jesus is talking about false prophets and he's getting to the end of, of his sermon on the Mount. And he says in verse number 21, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. I'm going to stop there for just a second because that's the key, to do the will of his Father which is in heaven. That way may not seem right to us because maybe we don't feel that that's our strengths or our weaknesses, or we don't feel that's where we need to be investing our time. But we need to do the will of God. Jesus goes on in verse 22. Many will say it to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name have done many wonderful works? See, these are the things that people is doing which might seem right to them. It might seem right. The way might seem right. This is my strength. My strength is prophesying. My strength is casting out devils my strength is doing wonderful works of the lord preaching and teaching and and prayers and and that's my strengths but that might not be what god wants you to do and jesus says to him in verse 23 and then i will profess unto them i never knew you depart from me ye that work iniquity those people were doing what they may have thought was what god wanted them to do but it wasn't Another one that comes to mind is the Apostle Paul, and we're not going to go there for a lack of time. But in the book of Acts, around chapter number 8, Paul was going out, and he was he was going to, going to go out to Damascus and arrest the Christians and, and bring them back to be tried and ultimately executed in Jerusalem. He was doing what he thought God wanted him to do because he didn't believe that Jesus was the Messiah. He didn't believe in in in, in Jesus as, as the Messiah. And he wanted to, to squash out this, this fast-growing religion at the time. And then he had that encounter with Jesus, and he was put on a new path, and he lived for the Lord and did the Lord's will. 
So friends, make sure what you're doing today. I'm, I'm not telling you not to do anything for the Lord. But what I am telling you to do is to make sure the things that you're doing is what the Lord wants you to do. Paul thought he was on the right road. His way seemed right. These people that Jesus talked about in Matthew chapter 7 seemed right. The things they did seemed right. But the fact is that neither one was doing the will of God. And that's what we need to make sure we are ultimately doing in our lives is the will of God. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. Then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.